this is Jared with Cinema 5D. I'm here with Richard Sluning from Zeiss. And Richard, why, why are the uh, T-stops for these Zeiss Z lenses all over the place? Yeah, it's, it's really a decision from uh, you know, our designers to choose the right balance of uh, weight and uh, price of the lens and, and balancing that against the, uh, the maximum aperture. So on a lens like the 18 uh, 3.5, uh, you know, our, our objective was a very high image quality, but in a lens that was fairly light and portable. And to take this lens to a, a, to a 2.8 or even faster, we resulted in a much larger lens with a much larger front diameter and a lens that would be very heavy and expensive. So for filmmaking applications, we, you know, we understand, of course, the, the need to have a, a matched set of lenses. Uh, I mean, Zeiss has been uh, making cine lenses for many years. Our master primes and uh, the ultra primes, the digit primes, uh, for the most part, you know, with the exception of the, the extreme ends, the, the ultra wides and the long lenses, uh, for the most part, the family lenses are all uh, balanced to each other, T19, T13s, and things like that. So certainly we understand the need for that, but with these particular lenses, it's really a, a compromise between the, the cost of the lens, size, and weight of the lens. Now what you will see going forward from us is uh, more of a kind of uh, a harmonization around a, a, an F2 or a T2.1. So you'll, you'll see a, a family of lenses kind of growing around that, that, that common aperture. So it'll be at least that aperture or faster, with the exception of the ultra wides, like the uh, like the 21, which will remain like a T29. Because simply to take this down to a T21, it would be a massive lens uh, and priced out of the range of, of uh, what most people could afford.